Hey guys, Anthony here from Triple XRC Garage, and uh, sorry about the background noise, nothing I can do about it. But today we're going to be working on, hopefully, working on and finishing the install of the of the um, the drag wing. Here, separate some stuff here on the Proline 69 Nova body. So anyway, what happened last time is the video kind of got goofed up because the, uh, the camera stopped and so forth. So hopefully that won't happen again. And uh, so what's in here? is the rest of the wing that needs to go on the back so we're going to have to assemble that first before we go any further um what i'm doing here is well what i'm going to be doing here is finishing this so hopefully somebody will stop beating on metal over there Alright, so we gotta get the uh, screws and all the hardware out and the awesome little decals that comes with it. So yes, we're gonna be trying to get this undercover RC drag wing finished hopefully today. So this wing's gonna fit on the back of this car, which bad angle, sorry, but it's okay. What we gotta do now is we have to put this together. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna notice when you're <clears throat> trying to make this work, all these are pre-drilled, as you know. Obviously, that's not the way it goes. So this is gonna go on this side. And so when you put it together, it'll look a little straighter. Now some of these, do get a little flattened out when in transport, so you do may have to bend a little bit, but to get the uh, get the right position. So what we're going to do here is use our 1.5 and go ahead and start it. Now once I get this all together, I'm going to take a marker and mark these these things because. What you reason you want to do that is you want to know what is what. So let me uh, get this thing here together for us so we can see what we're doing. There we go. So. Right now we're looking underneath the wing. So this is gonna actually mount like this on the car. And the reason I'm saying you wanna use a marker is because when he cuts these out, they're not all cut out of the same, they're all cut out of the same board. They're not cut out to be I'm not even sure what the word is I want to use, but he doesn't flip it over so the right, you know, because you got two different kind of coatings on these wings. So you've got the white coating and you got a clear coating. What I'm getting at is both of these wings here, or the side wings, the side parts of the wings here. I'm going to show you real quick. So basically, is this. This is your white coating. This is your white coating. But as you notice, and it's kind of hard to tell, but this is the white coating also, and this is a clear coating. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna mark here, here, and here. Because when we take this all apart, we're gonna be painting the insides of these and the bottom of this. Just kind of give you a little heads up. I didn't bring a marker with me, so I'll have to get one. 
here in a minute. So we're going to take the car, we're going to set it down, and we're going to um, figure out how this is going to mount and where it's going to mount. Usually the good indicator is going to be the arches that match up to here but what we're doing is you see how these are kind of they're kind of well they are kind of straight but I'm going to go ahead and give it a tad bit of a, a little bit more of a bend and they're pretty straight so what we're going to do is going to be mounting this up like such now the other thing we're going to do it's going to help a lot is I've got some painter's tape. We're going to go ahead and use some painter's tape to hold this in place. So what you're going to do is line up this cut with the notch on the trunk and you just got to figure out where you want this at. I mean it, you don't want it to be too low and you want it to be nice and flat when it mounts on the trunk. So what I'm doing is going to use tape to try to get that idea. You can see what I'm doing. So you want to use some tape that's not going to peel off your outer coating on this. And I didn't go deep enough for this. Here, we'll just do it this way. Okay, so you kind of get the, the idea a little bit. So right here in the bottom, kind of moving, but there's, uh, the only holes you're gonna be putting is right here. There is no side wing mounts here that mounts into the body. So once this is fastened down, it should be pretty good and pretty straight. And uh, that's at the tail end kind of give you an idea of looks. So what we're doing is just like we did with the splitter in the front, we mocked it, we put it together. So right now it's staying on the car. The tape doesn't really need to be on the front splitter right now because it's not being held. So the best way to do this is, I tried when I was doing some of the Corvette ones, I tried using my, um, drill and honestly drill was not a great idea I mean it's better if you don't I mean if you don't have anything else drill or Dremel I mean I get it but if you can get one of these tools there's a body reamer this is a real small one and I like this one because I got another a bigger one and for some reason I over seem to cut the bodies so what we're going to do is going to line up these holes well, most of the time I always start with the middle and work outward. Well, today, I mean, first of all, I'm going to make sure this is winged straight on here. That looks pretty straight. So, in this case, I'm going to start with an outer and work my way the other direction. Pop. I'm going to put one screw in right now. And just so you know, this video is brought to you by Undercover RC Wings. Um, he's got a lot more stuff, so you really need to go on his uh, Facebook page and and check it out because he has a lot of stuff in there and a lot of stuff coming. Uh, rumor has it there might be a chassis. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. Rumor has it that there uh, might be some carbon fiber 
uh, rings for your for your proline bead locks. Um, so I mean that's some stuff that I've heard that's coming down the pike. Just really need to go on his uh, his Facebook page to shop now and, and see what he's got because honestly. I probably can't name everything he's got going on. I know he's he just purchased another CNC machine, so it's just so he wants to be able to catch up and, and get his work done. Um, so I get this wing lined up. It's really hard when it's not painted to see if it's square, but it looks pretty square so far. And yep, I think that's gonna look pretty good right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and poke my other hole. put together been very hot lately and it's been so hot that I was having a hard time getting this video to go because um, I don't do this inside the house I do this in my garage or like I'm doing it right now on my back porch or patio if you want to call it and I have to wait till the evening time because the sun rises there hits the back of this house at 3,000 degrees and then goes to the front and then hits it there so that's what happens so that's two of the screws in place so what I'm going to do now is remove this tape and the reason I am removing the tape because it's covering up some of the holes and don't need it on there right now so we got two more holes to do here in the, in the middle and about this little pointy thing it's very pointy and you don't want to ream out too much and make the holes bigger but and I really needed to get this video done to be honest with you and between you know going through my truck experience had to get a new truck for my my day job and and so forth. I ran into a lot of little things that kept messing me up and then of course I had camera problems last time. Hopefully that won't be the problem this time. So far uh, my camera's doing good and so and the reason I'm going ahead and putting the polyurethane nuts on this is because I just want to make 100% sure that it's good. And I appreciate you guys' patience and I hope the people who subscribe to me um, understands and, and um, you know, we're going to get this done, I promise you. Um, it's just a matter of getting it done and getting the time and all that fun stuff. So there it is, fully mounted. And I'm gonna tell you right now, check it out. I mean, it's pretty tough. I mean, the body bends with it. So.
Okay, so, like I said, you don't really need the support of this wing. I think this is strong enough, to be honest with you. Um, I really do. So, all right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove this, but before we do that, let's look at how we're gonna want this, uh, this to be. So, I'm thinking probably going to be doing a uh, something like that design. It's kind of hard to do it, so I'll show you here in a second. So, you can see the marks here. I just did like a half, uh, like a candy cane kind of thing here and here. So we're gonna figure out the middle part here in a minute. But just to kind of give ourselves a, a rough idea of how we're gonna cut this, uh, this splitter to make it work correctly for us. And uh, so some of the things I'm gonna probably be using is probably some tape. Let's see if I can get a straight line out of it. Let's see how that works. I mean, some of you guys might be better at freehanding than I am, but. Yeah, I'm not liking it, what I've done so far. But we're gonna figure a way to get this to cut and fit right. So that's gonna be another time at this point. But, um, cause I don't have my body scissors with me. I think it's the only tool I forgot to bring. So, but, um. All right. So what we're gonna do is take the rear wing off and and after coming. So we're gonna take the rear wings off and put all the hardware back where it goes. Once you get this wing on and set, you definitely want to do like um, some kind of glue or silicone to keep the screws from coming undone. Okay. When you're running racing, you don't want to lose it, you're stuck. Tell you what, try the thing, then we'll come back to the good old fashioned GoPro. Okay, so the wing is on the button here. Okay, so I got on a button. We're not gonna do these yet until I make sure what we're doing here. And uh, it's pretty straight on the body, the body over there. So what, like I was telling you before, this is the area you don't wanna paint. This is the area you don't wanna paint or any same thing here. So you're gonna put, you can put a big and P here for no paint an X, a check mark, whatever, whatever you think. So we're gonna do an N, P here, as well as N, P. So the reason I did this is because we're gonna be taking this back apart. And I'm gonna be peeling off this side and the insides, cleaning them so we can paint them. Same thing with your wing, uh, your splitter, excuse me. So that's why you want to do this. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and take apart the wing. So the body's already pre-drilled. So the only the uh, removing the splitter, 
then we're going to wash the inside very thoroughly and then we're going to break out our window masks that come in the kit and mask all the windows up and then of course um, it'll be ready for paint and then you just choose the color paint you want and then you're going to give it a good paint job um, and you want to take your time with that so you want to go every 15 minutes a coat do a very light coat where it looks like you really didn't do much let it dry 15 minutes to the touch and then do it again you give it another 15 minutes and just keep giving it light coats and light coats until you pretty much used the whole can of paint um, then after that you should be good to go as far as uh, the body goes and then when you go to paint these parts do the same exact thing give it a good mist spray 15 minutes spray it again so forth so right now after you've gotten this far out the hardest thing you've got left to do is to figure out if you're going to do these in black and do your card in a different base coat or if you're going to make it all match i mean it's really totally up to you so we're going to go ahead and, and take this apart and I'm going to put it back in the bag for, for now because we're going to work on that. And then when I get ready to paint that, we're going to probably do everything at one, two, three together. So right now, this part of the video was just showing you how to assemble it and so forth. The only thing I'm not going to show you what you should do as far as cutting out your splitter. It depends on what shape you want. I mean, like with the Corvette one, I basically used this, the, the Corvette shape and I pushed it in and, and drew it out and then cut it. But that was more of a smooth. I mean, this, this uh, Nova's got little bumps here and stuff. So, I mean, I may not be what you want to do and you want to make it more level and even. So, yeah. So, anyway. So, now, right now is the time to just take apart the wing. Oh, before we go that way. Your left side of the car, your right side of the car. Let's put an L. Let's put a R. And the reason we're going to do that is because top, top, left, right. The reason we're doing that is because once you get it painted, because you're going to leave this coating on here and here and here you're going to leave these coatings on just you're just cleaning out these before you paint it and the reason we're doing this is because we don't want overspray on the shiny and that's what this will be very shiny when you're done so this is what you want to do so we're going to go ahead and, and i'm going to pull all this apart and uh i don't need to bore you with that part of it and then we're going to rebag all the hardware back in the bag and then same thing here i'm gonna take the splitter off and it'll be ready to be done when we get ready to paint the body so um anyway that's it for now uh we're going to post this video before this gets painted just so you know that uh part three will be painting the body and I, this is really kind of part one and two just because of the mess up on the first part of the video but i'm sorry for that part but so this will be kind of part one and a half and two and then the third part will be painting and prepping so stand by for that so anyway um got some exciting stuff coming down the pike too um i'm actually going to be a uh, a main affiliate I already got to, to go uh, stuff for that so all I got to do now is just finish doing the setup for that and then that way you guys if you want to help support the channel you'll be able to go into the links and click on that and purchase your stuff through there and that kind of gives our channel just a little bit of uh, just a very little bit I mean it's not we're not making tons of money but it'll give us a little bit of help um, to get better content going because as soon as I can start getting 
the funds going a little bit better here so I can get things going, I'll be doing giveaways. We'll have shirts. We were supposed to have shirts. COVID-19 hit, and the people who were going to do the shirts fell off the face of the earth. So hopefully they're in good shape. I have been able to talk to them. And uh, but we're going to come up with something. But anyway, I just want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button down below, please. Um, because that helps get me up in for other people to see. And don't forget, have fun with RCs. Oh, and by the way, tomorrow we're going to do a little crawling.